Yo, Diablo 4 devs have posted a feedback article on our feedback. <laughs> so these are the changes that they're going to do for launch. So these are actually going to be made for the launch of the game. So I'm excited for this. So for dungeon, they changed up the layout to minimize backtracking. These are the ones I'm assuming these are the one that you have to go left and then right. Right. So their note is our primary goal with the layout changes was to reduce certain kinds of backtracking, which detract from the player's experience. An example of this change is that the players previously needed to enter the side room to interact with the structure objectives, causing them to retread the same path. Now, most of our structure projectives have been repositioned along the main dungeon pathways, making them easier for players to reach and allow them to readily explore the dungeon after defeating the structure. Okay, so I'm assuming that they put it closer, and then if you want to continue, you can, or you can... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting wording here. <laughs> Along the, We're going to have to see when the game comes out, but I'm, I'm guessing... So you have the main path, and then it's kind of closer by, and then there's more you can explore if you want to, or you can backtrack, but not as much backtracking. Why don't, or they can reposition to be more of a one single path line. I don't know. But here we have dungeon events. <laughs> they increased it to 60% from 10%. So it'll, so going into the same dungeon most likely will have different things happening more often, which is great. More variety, I guess. <laughs> so here it said, reduce the need for backtracking. For the kill all objective, they made the small number of strangling monsters will seek out the player. Instead of changing the objective, I guess, to like 95%, which would probably be easier, they actually do want you to kill all of them, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, Omunus, I'm assuming is one of the things you like pick up or whatever, or I'm not exactly sure what the Omnis was. Yeah, it's one of those things you have to gather, right? For the objective. Um, and then you depositing it now is just instant. And the same thing with depositing stuff in the pedestal is instant so that's great and then we have that when you pick it up you get 10 resource and you reduce all your active cooldown active so whatever is currently on c on cd then they have time to rescue they they minimize it to be a half so you still got to do something but you get a health potion upon completion which is nice i guess <laughs> Instead of having you be able to carry multiple ones, you can still, I think you could only still can only carry one, but now you get a movement speed increase for you and your nearby allies. It's great. It's, it's a step in the right, right direction here. Returning your pedestal now restores everything, pretty much health, resource, potions, and reset your cooldowns for you and nearby players. All doors now ping when they're open. That's great. So now you can... <laughs> Make it easier to like find a door. All stru structure objectives in dungeon now have additional combat mechanics. So it's not just like, oh, kill that thing. There's probably some other stuff. Well, maybe it's still kill the thing, but they don't just spawn mobs. They just have some other things maybe in there. Good. Variety is always better. While a dungeon offers a variety of objectives to complete, play feedback stated that the action of completing each objective felt tedious. We hope that providing bonuses. I don't know about bonuses will increase the mobility <laughs> while carrying certain objective items will streamline and vary this i don't know if it vary it will streamline it but i don't know if it varied experience if you just make it faster you're still doing the same thing but <laughs> so maybe hopefully this part though will change it up and then having dungeon events will help it out this judgment is merely a starting point so it's a starting point so okay, okay. and we will attend to extend this philosophy to keys in a future update oh okay Like I said, a step in the right direction. I don't know why I lost words there. All right, we got some general class changes. So now stun and freeze will be applied twice as long before they become unstoppable, which you can't CC them. They also reviews class skills to confirm that all classes have access to sufficient skills that remove CC from them. Many, many legendary power has been updated to their effectiveness. Effectiveness, huh? So they, they adjusted the numbers on some of them, huh? Okay, okay. All right, now we got barbar Barbarian class specific. Now it's just a flat 10% damage reduction for Barbarian. 
I'm assuming Dru yeah, Druid doesn't ha get it because Druid can also be ranged if they needed to. Uh, some of their skill passive has their damage reduction effects reduced to compensate. Okay, so you just have flat, so you don't have to get those, you're not forced to get those damage reduction in the tree because you guys have a flat one now. Okay, that's good. They give more flexibility. Whirlwind skill now do more damage, but now take more fury. I know I remember seeing a video where if you do whirlwind, you can pretty much generate lit. You pretty much never run out of fury. So now they kind of compensate it for it, but you also do more damage for it. <laughs> Double swing skill enhancement refund is full fury cost when used on stun and knockdown enemy. So they buffed it. So they buffed companion skills. They now do increased damage. So now minion builds actually feel good. All ultimate skills have to cooldowns reduced. That's that's great because then a lot of them take a long time. <laughs> usability improvement have been made to more and pulverize. Hmm, usability, huh? Like what? Make it faster or I don't know. This is vague, but maybe they'll go over in the live stream. Using non shifting skill will transform a druid back to human form. I feel like that's always the case. Oh, except for like if you use urgent bull rock, you actually stay in werebear form instead of actually transform. Okay, so some of them, they make sure all of them do that now. Necromancer, summon minions will die more often. So they nerfed the minions, and it seems like they nerfed course explosion, and then they buffed the book of the dead. And they lower their brightness. So they pretty much nerf Necromancer overall. Okay. And then they buffed Barbarian and Druid. And then Rogue pretty much got buffs for this super few skills. And then their other passive. But they nerfed Imbuement. To be honest, when I played Rogue, I didn't even use Imbuement. And I was doing decent and good damage. So I, I don't know. <laughs> Sorcerer looked like they increased the charge boat and then decreased the mana cost. So they buffed charge boat and then they decreased chain like damage of chain lightning and reduced its effectiveness against bosses. So they nerfed chain lightning against bosses. Uh, decreased the cooldown for incinerate skills enchantment bonus. So they buffed incinerate skills enchantment. Firewall now spawns more frequently, so they kind of buffed that too or at least fixed it increase the lucky hit chance for meteor skills so they pretty much increasing the other skills but they didn't do anything with hydra so hydra is probably still gonna be op <laughs> whenever we introduce class changes to our classes it is with the goal of making both them and their skills feel impactful and powerful your feedback has helped us uphold this our ideal some players have definitely noticed that certain skills were too powerful. One of our goals for skills is to have them be interesting to wield and interactive in terms of itemization and combat feel. We made some changes to help with this regard with one example being necromancy minions. We made a change that makes them more vulnerable in combat, which makes more rising to make rising dead a more active component so you got to keep resing <laughs> launch is just the first deck of our class balance journey and you expect further updates that iterate on this pillar of diablo 4 okay they they sure <laughs> all right some ui changes fix an issue where the built-in screen reader was reading key prompts and game option detail and other ui text Oh yeah, that did happen. When I was typing somewhere else, it was like, <laughs> okay. Fix an issue where actions could not be bound to the mouse wheel. Nice. Fix an issue where invade could not be bound to right analog stick. Nice. Chat can now play on the left side when you're centered. I never had a problem with chat. Mine was always centered. Uh, since I play on PC. Uh, character stats will display by default. Nice. This is good. When you click on the materials and stat button, so when you click on the pro. The mysterious stats usually by default it shows you the materials. Now it'll show you the stats by default. Oh yo yo, this move and interact can now be mapped to one button. While the primary attack could be mapped to a secondary button. Nice. I know I have to make force move as one button and then I have to right click for interact. Now you can map them to the left click. The font used in game replaced with new seraphon. Okay. Fix, okay, we have encounters. Fix multiple issues that allow bosses like Witcher to become unresponsive 
Oh, so you can cheese it, right? They fixed it that you can't cheese it. The butcher has been reevaluated for difficulty and will be present a greater challenge. So are they keeping the butcher the same and then they're just buffing tier three and four, I'm guessing. Bosses such as these Torok, Malnok, Vernar, I don't even yo apologize, I'm messing up words. And others will be revalued for melee character difficulty. So I guess if you're fighting melee, it will probably do different things. I don't know. We'll see. Or they just change it all together. Resulting in changes to attack and fight mechanics. Which is good though, because then that's a lot of main complaints. <laughs> fix an issue with vampire brutes using shadow a chant fix with chain cast impale. I don't know if I have this issue, but yeah. Sellers. Yo. They increased the dungeon event chance. Uh, I don't know by what percentage, but that's a good change. So now sellers will at least not be how you say it more the same there's like more things that can be different in the seller and then now they're consistently giving you a chess upon completion so now it's worth it to do it fix an issue where seller would permanently be marked as complete this issue where guaranteed elite monster would be absent okay that's good now sellers now it's kind of worth it to do sellers though though i feel like okay so during the like the first day of the betas if you weren't every time you go to the loading screen there's a risk <laughs> Of you getting DC'd. So I don't know if I want to still go into seller like the first day, but after that, it's probably a good, yeah. I don't know. I'll still probably go in to see if I get, I don't know. Maybe after a while. We'll see. We'll see. General grant quality of life change, fix an issue where players will increase attack speed. Okay, I remember seeing that video of the bug by move canceling attacks early, fix an issue where characters weren't immune and untargable. Well. Oh, okay. So now you got, you got some brief. Time period where you're immune and untargable in the loading screen. So now when you're loading a new map, you don't get attacked or anything. The reset button disable. Is it just permanently disable or what? Like it goes back by one video with the tip where you can reset dungeons to keep rerunning them. Maybe you gotta like do a certain amount of dungeons before you can reset, but they just strictly just disabled it. So we'll see how they what, what they do with this. Fix an issue that caused Gale Valley and Surak ruptured to have less monsters than intended until the campaign quest. Okay, so they add, so they're supposed to have more monsters. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, the live stream they're gonna go over. Hopefully, they go over these stuff too, and like you can see the vis visually the changes. Okay, uh, this time a group of will uncover details about the offer end game offerings. Okay, but yeah, I'm still excited for the album four. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be I'll be for sure streaming this. Probably gonna be the main game. Probably see some videos on here as well. Uh, so do subscribe and leave a comment for what you guys are excited for the changes on here. <laughs> and with that, later days.